What's going on everybody and welcome back to Rock Rehab RC. So today it's just me. Unfortunately Riley couldn't make it but uh, I, I kind of fell in love with this Enduro so I wanted to bring it back out and we forgot to show you guys the scratches on it to see the red coming through. So let's get in there and get a close up to show you the red on it and then I put bigger wheels and tires on it. I want to see how it handles them. I think that it's going to perform a lot better and it looks so much better. So let's take a look at it. <clears throat> see here she is again put the wheels and tires off of my SCX 10-3 on it I think they fit it really well and if you look closely right here you can see the red coming through there a few of the scratches up on top that's coming through I like that about it and then right here on the fender see if I can't get a shot for you I did take some sandpaper on it, so I'll be able to do some custom weathering look to it and not just the scratches. So I've been really happy with it. I like the independent front suspension. So I'm gonna see how it does with those bigger wheels and tires. So let's go see how it does on the rocks. All right, so I'm a little worried about the steering setup on this IFS with this. Um, I'm not too sure how it's going to handle the bigger wheel. Oh, look at that flex right there. That's cool. I'm not quite sure how it's going to handle the larger wheels and tires. It seems to be struggling, but again, that it's just a stock servo in there. So that could be the main reason I'm seeing a little bit of a struggle with it. All those tires are gripping a lot better. That's, that's a pretty difficult line. Some decent ledges on that. Oh, wow, that did pretty good. So we got a bit of a downhill. So far, I'm pretty impressed. It's handling the bigger tires. It's not feeling underpowered or anything. See, we got those creepy slow up. Oh. See, and there's that drag brake, guys. You got to hit reverse in order to stop. And I'm not quite sure how to program that out. I did a little research and didn't find what I was looking for. So when you start going down something steep, you got to hit reverse in order to go slow. And I'm trying not to roll it, even though scratches would look cool on this. There we go. Right down to the bottom. A little self-recovery if we can. Nope. A few more scratches on the roof. How do you go up that line? Now these are the Proline BFG tires. I think they're the MTs. I don't remember the exact model of them, but they're in the G8 compound, so they're not super sticky. Get a little bump there. Oh, there we go. Try to ride this right side, see if we can't get that rear tire up first. I love the way that IFS is moving. That rear tire did grab up there. And it's not staying though. We're gonna have to bump it up again. See if we can't get the front in line. Steering servo is really struggling. Oh, too much of a bump on that one. <laughs> Try a smaller bump here. Ooh, there we go. I had to get the right bum going as she goes right up. Found the hole. I guess we're going this way. Better walk around and see what's on the other side. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this wheel and tire combo on here. I'm really liking it. I think they're performing really good. I love the size on it. Maybe a stronger servo. I'm just not sure how all the mechanism is going to hold up to a stronger servo. I guess we're going to have to see though. Go down nice and slow. Where that drag brake comes in handy. If I had one on this. Let's 
See that IFS working in there, keeping those tires nice and planted. Perfect. Get a speed run coming up. Told you we pull it there. You get a speed run coming toward you a little faster. Now the suspension movement isn't quite as realistic as say the the 103 on my Gladiator. That suspension looks really good, but I think this is a pulse second. All right, let's go see if we can't find a couple difficult lines. Ooh, we flipped that light bar over. There we go. Now she's looking proper. There's a cool little shelf here. See if we can't climb up this. Tires are struggling for grip. Oh, there we go. We got past that ledge. Oh, surprisingly, that climbed up pretty easy. Let's uh, let's get a steeper section of that. Let's try that again. Section right here is quite a bit steeper in this first little part. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna do. Okay, well that surprised me. That front weight bias that these have just out of the box is proven to climb very well. The stock tires weren't impressing me, but these ones are doing really well. I'm gonna try to find something that's a little more difficult for this to climb up and I'll bring you guys back. Uh, let's see if we can find something steeper. All right, so let's give this a shot. Kind of got in a good position. This is a, a lot to bite off, but I was walking by it, figured we'd give it a shot. Heck of a side hill getting on it. Trying to keep those right rear tire up on a little ledge down there. Get another bite at that. Get that rear to climb up. I think we might be able to get a small bump. Oh, my rear slid too far over. Back on the wheels again. Let's give that one more shot. Give it a little bit of a bump with a follow through here. Self recovered. Man, I really want to make it up this little section. I think I need to come in at a different angle. Coming down through the trees here. Get some Arizona pinstriping on it. Hopefully I don't roll. My plan is to hug this wall. Plan didn't work. Get back up there and try that again. I, I almost think we can make it up there. Give it one more shot then we'll go find something else. So real quick, to give you guys an idea of what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to come down through here, come around this little ledge here, and then come up here. I want to stay up on top of this. If I can get my rear tire to hang on this and get my front to climb here, I think this would give me enough traction to make it up and around this.
Oh, that rear is going to fall down again. There's that sand hole right there. All right, well, it looks like I was a little aggressive on that line. So let's run over here. I think there's another cool shelf I'd like to try. All right, guys, so here's a fun line in the minis. quite difficult with the little ones but uh, not for the big ones apparently I haven't tried a big one on that line before but I walked right up it all right that drag brake is killing me I'm really liking those tires on this. It is a fairly light rig, and I think that's playing to its advantage. It's turning into one of my favorites. It's pretty aggressive. Oh, look at that articulation, that IFS, guys. That looks cool. Got a nice little steep drop off here. Now, without it having a drag brake, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do going down it. Really fine throttle control here. I'm just trying to slide super slow, but I have a feeling I'm going to roll it. Uh, let me try to back. Nope, I can't back up either. All right, I guess we're going for it. Ooh, we're almost rolling it there. I was surprised I didn't fall over. Just enough weight in the rear to keep it planted going down. That's pretty impressive for a downhill. I like that. Guys, I'm falling in love with this thing. It's doing some really cool stuff. I love the way that it looks. I think that's gotta be one of my favorite parts about it is it just looks incredible. Um, it's handling very well. I love these bigger tires on it. They're gripping fantastic. So let's, let's see what else we can get into with it, man. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. All right, guys. So here's a spot little man wants me to try. He says he thinks I can do it. I don't know, man. That's a pretty aggressive coming out of a sand pit there. We can't get up this lip. All right, all right. Belly it out there, so let's give it just a hair of a bump. And we made it over. A little too much follow through on that bump, and I got to go around and make a U turn, but. We're here again, make it all the way to the top. Let's give our black line a shot. So if you guys will recognize this, this is our uh, micro black line course, or our mini black line course, not micros. See how she does climbing up this. Some really steep ledges that have come at it at a different angle. front up there like nothing another fun one in here man it just grips I'm really not sure which one I like more, my SCX-10 III or this one now, guys. I see one more line I want to hit, and then we'll call it a day. All right, guys, so here's the plan. I'm going to come up here. I got a small ledge here, and then I'm going to keep going, and then I got a heck of a side hill here. 
And this is really steep. I'm gonna try to get it up through here and up that way. Now that is a very aggressive line. That side hill is gonna be pretty steep. Crawl up this ledge here. Should pull, start pulling up here, right about here. Yep. I'm gonna try to come up this a little steeper. Hopefully the asset, the back end, excuse me, will slide over for me. Oh no, too far. Give that another shot. There we go. Now I'm going to kind of try to crab walk this. I don't think the rear is going to be able to get grip. Oh, it did. Okay. Well, hopefully we can still work it walking it over. Go back and forth. That wasn't the exact line I had pictured coming through this. Oh no, on the side. Can you save it? But that still worked out really well. So that last line, the tires got quite a bit more grip than I thought, but that was a really good line. I'm loving this, guys. Huge shout out to Mountain High Power Sports. Without those guys, we wouldn't be able to do this review. I don't know if I would have personally spent the money on this, but now that I've tried it, I'm not giving it back to him. I'm gonna go pay him for it. It's gonna be in our lineup. I love it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I wanna put a brushless system in this. I want to put a stronger servo in it. I'm liking this combo wheel and tire, so I might have to go ahead and get a different set for the Gladiator that will more match my Gladiator. So, I'm hoping we can go that line and try to make the 10-3 a replica of mine. We'll keep these wheels and tires on. Like I said, brushless, stronger servo, possibly a winch. So, when I build a crawler, since I started, I have been all about adding more weight strategically. I try to get the front as heavy as I can, keep the rear lighter. I want weight way down low. And that's always worked for me, but I wanna go in a different route with this one. I wanna keep it light. And I want to modify it as little as possible, but get the most performance out of it. So I wanna leave it as stock as I can, but I wanna get way more performance. And I think the first steps with that, like I said, brushless and a servo. So let's try to get that going here in the next few weeks and then we'll see where it turns up. But thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what you wanna see us do with this and then uh, we'll catch you on the next one.